rough seas and high winds at anchor and a boat on fire. All this on our son and family's holiday with us on Cordelia. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. We are Stephen and Annette, a semi-retired couple who sold up everything to fulfil our dream of sailing the world, or as far as we can get. We spent 10 years planning to start our dream. In the end, you only ever regret the chances you didn't take. Mallorca has beautiful colours all around the island and when the sun is shining you could easily be in any tropical place around the world, all apart from the lack of fish. But that doesn't stop me from loving my snorkelling and going to look for them. I still recall the first time I saw you I was so nervous to talk so fast went from so lonely to falling asleep in your arms i used to be afraid the overfishing of the mediterranean has resulted in a lack of fish and a lot of netting and ropes drifting in our seas and oceans here steve is cutting some nylon netting that is wrapped around the prop we do have a rope cutter but as the name describes it's for ropes When we can, we collect rubbish from the seas and with nylon netting like this, we will dispose of it responsibly in a bin when we next go ashore. Hello everybody, um, just a quick interlude. I have a question to ask you, but first of all, if you've got this far, thank you very much for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please. And don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed the episode. Anyway, back to what I wanted to ask you. We, um, well, I, I, I take quite some time to do the videos. It's, um, it's quite a lengthy job. And I've tried to get into the habit of doing them once every couple of weeks. But what I want to know is, is what you want to see more of. Whether it's um, just Steve and I general kind of day-to-day -day living on the boat, whether it's Steve and I talking, whether it's more sailing, um, whether it's, I would say, the sightseeing bit. You know, when we go and see things, when we, you'll see later on here that uh, we've been to some caves. But I, I'd be a little bit reluctant to show you those um, or too much of that because uh, why would you want to go on holiday? Go and see them if I tell you all about them. I can't see the point in that. So, anyway, do you like this? This is my picture. I made this. This out of sea glass. And this one's called the Needles. That there is the Needles in Hampshire, Olive White. And this is Cordelia. I tried to make them and sell them, but nobody would buy them. Anyway, um, back to what I wanted to ask you. So, um, we love we love it when you leave comments, whether they're good, bad, or funny comments. Um, so maybe you could leave us a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see more of. It would just help us, because then we can kind of focus on those areas a bit more. Without it being false, so I don't want it to be false. You see us as we are, a bit like now, that swinging bloody basket up there. Which is full of crisps. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you get back to the episode. Um, we've got the storm coming up next. So, uh, again, thank you very much for watching and look forward to seeing your comments. Bye. We've not yet experienced a blow in the Mediterranean and unfortunately this one arrived the day our son and his family came to stay with us for a week. It only lasted 40 minutes and we were safe even though it was un an uncomfortable safe. We had waves coming over the bow and we estimated the winds were gusting up to 30 knots.
We knew it was going to blow up for a while and so we had everything tied down, turned the engine on and had a fender ready in case we needed to let the anchor go. For good or bad, our two granddaughters didn't seem perturbed by it at all, but our daughter-in-law, poor Gemma, absolutely hated it. Right at that moment, I think she would have been quite happy to get on a plane and fly back home. I tried to capture how high the waves were and how wild the sea was. I hope you can see it here. Storm over and the following day we saw a boat in the same bay on fire. Luckily the two on board who had jumped into the water had been rescued by a passing yacht but unfortunately the boat sank. None of this helped Jem's fear of being on the water. These are the perfect days though, with wind in the sails, the engine off and the sun powering up the batteries. These really are the perfect days we love. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on We'll be together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone This is the beautiful Playa Portavel's colour. There are four beaches here, one being a nudist beach, and some beautiful caves. The caves, also known as Caves of the Mother of God, were found by sailors who were caught in a storm and vowed that if they survived the storm, they would build a place of honour to the Mother of God. Their ship was driven into the bay and they did survive and when they found the caves they decided to place their Madonna, carve the walls into an altar and decorated it with inscriptions of their names. The Madonna statue was removed years later and placed in a local church in Calvia Palma. We could also see where enormous stone blocks were extracted from the caves for the construction of the beautiful cathedral in Palma. Across the world people are still in lockdown. We were for a few months and seeing family again has been overwhelming. We love our life but also love to share it. That's what you get. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our video, please subscribe and give us a like. Every thumbs up counts. See you in two weeks. Bye.